Yes. So this bird's femur is fractured. Uh, I got a call for helping this bird today, sir. Can you please describe what, when did it happen? Uh, when did her leg got fractured? Actually, uh, this incident happened last night, but I wasn't so, aware about it. Okay. Uh, then? We get to know that uh, her leg is not working properly. She wasn't able to walk properly. Uh, okay. That's why we took her to vet, okay. and they told her about uh, they, they told us about uh, the fracture and the t uh, treatment, and we ha uh, he said us to take her to uh, another vet. Another vet. Okay, so putting a sort of pain in the legs because leg has got fractured, and they gave you a medicine for this uh, immunity. Hi, baby. And how did they? Uh, what did he give you? He, he told you to. He told you that uh, immunity supplement to put yes. in his nostril. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, any any supplement shouldn't be put in the nostril because you know it causes breathing difficulty and it's not safe for the birds, especially for small birds. And no supplement, no medicine may put in the nostril like this. Okay. Okay. So you see where the fracture is. Okay. Now you can. See that I have splinted till the femur. Okay, yes. so it is for supportive supporting. Okay, and the bird will be able to yes manage to keep her balance. See that? Yes. Okay. Now it's okay. See that? And after three to four days, she'll be able to use that leg also. But we need to keep her on this uh, splint, on this uh, plaster, for at least for three to three and a half weeks. Okay. And after two weeks, I'll come again to I'll remove the bandage and I'll check how much healing is there. I'll make her walk if she's able to walk properly. So no need, we don't need to put uh, another splint. If she is not uh, the fracture hasn't healed completely, we'll have to splint it again. I will be giving you some medicines you have to get orally and uh, other supplement which is going to help to join that uh, bone also you need calcium supplement for that did the doctor give you any sort of painkiller or calcium supplement? no which uh, it is an animal, uh, dogs and cats pet? Right? yeah? yes let me examine once again just continue the video, don't, don't, don't stop it yeah And how, how did you come to know about me? Uh, from your YouTube channel. Okay. Thank you so much. See that, okay. She can use this ankle, the toes and the feet. She can use it. We don't need to explain that also, okay? Okay. ये फ्री रहना चाहिए इट शुड बी फ्री नहीं तो वहाँ पे ब्लड क्लॉटेशन हो जाएगा शी इज स्टिल स्नेजिंग ही एडवाइज यू टू पुट दैट नॉस्ट ड्रॉप इन द नॉस्टल सी शी इज स्नेजिंग दिस डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम द नॉस्टल वॉट एवर यू पुट इट्स कमिंग आउट ऑफ नॉस्टल नाउ शी इज डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीदिंग ओके यू शुड टेक योर बर्ड्स टू बर्ड स्पेशलिस्ट नॉट टू अ डॉग्स एंड कैट वेट सी डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया हाउ टू एक्चुअली आई वाज नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द बर्ड स्पेशलिस्ट एनी आई विल पुट ओनली दिस सिंगल स्लिंग शी विल ट्राइ टू रिमूव ऑफ दिस बैंडेज ओके ओके इफ शी डज इट just give me a call i'll be here again to splint or you can come direct at my house okay i don't think so she can remove it it should be very lightweight agar ye heavy hai to she has to, she'll have difficulty in using now she needs to rest she'll be on resting therapy and other therapies which i'll be telling you to put in the water and you give it you give, you 
you give that water medication twice in a day. If she doesn't drink water, you give her soft food. If soft food like rice, anything you eat, egg cook, cooked egg, rice mix, okay. that also you give. But you have to motivate this bird to eat. Like this, she is not gonna eat. Just like in uh, in a, in a family, small kids, they fall sick and they parents they keep on motivating. They give love to that small kid. Eat this. This is good for you. You have to motivate. You have to offer food from your hand. Then only the bird is gonna eat. Otherwise, she is gonna just sit and you know ignore eating, ignore playing, anything like that. And you need to. If she was shivering or what? Yes. Like shivering like this, no? Uh, yes, she was if shivering. She was fluffed up feathers. Mm, her I feathers don't were so. fluffed, or no. like this only normal. Normal. And she she has uh, stopped flying also. Uh, she has fl- uh, she has fluffed her left wing. Be, uh, left wing. Left wing, opposite was wing. Was it droopy or she is uh, taking support of this wing? Oh, uh, she was just taking support of. Yeah, it. that's normal then because she has a pain on this side. No, I I've seen this. The bird is shivering. Whenever I see any part of the bird is like you know she is shaking or shivering like this, that means she is in pain. Okay. And I have examined the wing part also. There is no injury, no fracture in the wing, so nothing to worry about much. This bird got got lucky. There is uh, only displaced oblique displaced fracture, not much. Okay. So we need to keep her in a small cage where she can rest. So three weeks, three weeks she will require. You know, only this bird has to be in a small cage, and she requires supportive care. And you don't remove her outside. Don't let her do a lot of activities. She will keep on, you know, climbing inside the cage here and there. You, you go close to the bird, you know, talk to her. You can take her outside of cage, and you pet her, but don't let her fly. Okay. In a small house, in a, a small room, you sit with the bird, but don't let her fly. If she flies, you know, she's gonna land, and she's gonna use this leg again. You know, this fracture will, you know, uh, not heal properly. Okay. Yes. What's her name, ma'am? Abbas. Abbas, yeah, I I really forgot. Abbas, you will be fine, huh? Just uh, send her like this, you know, positive energy. That you will be fine. Everything is gonna be okay. Not, you don't have to worry about. We are there with you to help you. Send a lot of blessings. She'll be fine. And thank God, week is also safe. But I can see. Uh, you you see the color change in the color of the week, huh. right? Yes, huh. yes. Yeah. I think when she got the, uh, hurt on the leg, no. She, uh, she, the same time, I am assuming that you know she has you know collided somewhere in the wall or something. See, right beak. Sudden change color in the beak. You see this left one is normal color. Yes. You see on the left side. And see, check the right side mm. near the nostril. Mm. But she'll be fine. Yeah. She'll be alright. Yeah, she'll be alright. Just three weeks of after four to five days, she will start walking also. What? Not the nose is running. I'm giving the medicine, no? It will clear it out. 